Controller binds are by far the most important factor when you're trying to get good at Fortnite. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best controller binds for every type of controller. Having optimal binds on controller is crucial because it'll make your building, editing, and aim a lot better. This video will talk about non-claw, claw, as well as paddles. If you play on claw with the PS4 controller, then you're going to want X for jump, right stick crouch, left stick for sprint, square for your reload, triangle for toggle pickaxe, and circle for switch mode. Then for the editing binds, we're going to have R2 select, L2 confirm, and R1 reset with our editing binds set to touchpad. Here's a quick run through on the controller binds if you want to copy them yourselves. Now if you play on Claw with a PS5 controller, then you're going to want X for jump, right stick crouch, the right D-pad for sprint, square for your reload, circle for your toggle pickaxe, and left stick for switch mode. As for the editing binds, you want to use R2 to select, L2 to confirm, and R1 to reset, while setting your edit bind on triangle. Once again, here's a quick run through on the controller binds if you want to copy them yourself. Now if you play on claw with an Xbox controller, then we're going to start with A for jump, right stick crouch, X for sprint, the bottom D-pad for reload, B for toggle pickaxe, and Y for switch mode. For the editing binds, we're going to have RB select, LB confirm, and RT reset with our editing binds set to left stick. Here's a quick run through on the controller binds. I have to say though that left stick is highly underrated for claw, especially if you are on an Xbox controller, it is so underrated. Now if you play on non-claw with any controller, then we're going to have right stick jump, X for A for crouch, the top D-pad for sprint, square or X for reload, triangle or Y for toggle pickaxe, and circle or B for our switch mode. Then for our editing, we're going to have RT or R2 to select, LB or L1 to confirm, and RB or R1 to reset with our editing bind set to left stick. Once again, here's a quick one through on the controller binds, and yes, this is the general binds that all non-claw players should follow. It doesn't matter if you are on PS4, PS5, or Xbox, these are the binds you should follow. Now, if you play on any controller with two paddles or two back buttons like I do, my personal recommendation is that if you could play on right stick jump with left stick edit, then set one of your paddles to switch mode and your other paddles set to sprint. This is the ideal situation you want to be in, especially if you have two back buttons, and I would suggest trying to implement this. However, if you cannot stomach through left stick edit and right stick jump at the same time, then setting your left and right paddles to edit and jump is the way to go. But once again, I highly recommend learning left stick edit edit or right stick jump if you really want to reach your absolute full potential with just two paddles. And finally, if you play on any controller with four paddles or four back buttons, my personal recommendation is simple. Set your paddles to switch mode, sprint, toggle pickaxe, and you can choose whether or not you're going to play with left stick edit or right stick jump because you're going to place either edit or jump on that last paddle. If you want my opinion for it, I suggest learning left stick edit and setting your jump to one of the paddles for maximum comfort. This is by far the perfect combination for the most maxed out controller out there. You can get really far with four paddles or four back buttons if you follow these controller binds. So that is it for the controller binds. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like these types of videos, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much once again for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.